There are a lot of Ethereum competitors in cryptocurrency, and it's often said that none of them will stand a chance against Ethereum 2.0 once it goes live sometime next year. But what have I told you that there is an Ethereum competitor that has already implemented many of Ethereum 2.0's future features? This cryptocurrency exists, and it is called Harmony. Today, I'm going to give you a quick review of Harmony, bring you up to speed on what the project has been up to, and tell you why it's one coin that could be the one coin to rule them all. Pardon the interruption, but there's something I need to mention. Giving you financial advice would result in my detention. Education is the only thing you'll find in today's lesson. Contact a financial advisor if your portfolio needs redemption. If this is your first time in my presence, my name is Guy, and some say I'm a crypto legend. That's because I create some of the highest quality crypto content on the internet. Coins, tokens, news, reviews, I keep my biases to a minimum and stick to the truth. If this sounds good to you, subscribing to the channel and pinging that notification bell is what you should do. I know not everyone has time for a 20-minute video, which is why I always leave timestamps in the timeline below. Feel free to skip ahead, but the longer you stay, the more your brain will grow. Now I know my rhymes are in harmony, but it's time we talked about the cryptocurrency. If you've never heard of harmony before, here's what you need to know. Harmony was founded in 2018 by Rongjian Lan, Sahil Dewan, and Stephen C. Harmony was built by Harmony Protocol, a for-profit software company based in the United States. Harmony's development is coordinated by the Harmony Foundation, which is presumably a non-profit. It's not clear where the Harmony Foundation is based. Harmony raised $28 million across various token sales in 2018 and 2019. The Harmony mainnet went live in June 2019 and has not seen any downtime since its launch. As I mentioned in the introduction, Harmony looks like Ethereum 2.0 under the hood. This is because Harmony leverages the Ethereum virtual machine for smart contracts and uses a sharded proof-of-stake blockchain consisting of four shards. Each shard can process up to 500 transactions per second, meaning Harmony can currently process around 2,000 transactions per second with a transaction finality of two seconds. Each shard is secured by 250 validator nodes, which are randomly assigned to ensure no single shard can be corrupted by a handful of validators with a large stake. To further improve security, Harmony uses a novel proof-of-stake algorithm called Effective Proof-of-Stake, or EPOS. This involves reducing staking rewards for validators when their stake gets too large. Validators must stake a minimum of 10,000 OneCoins to become a node. Delegation is also possible, and the minimum stake is 1,000 OneCoins. OneCoin staking rewards are currently around 10% per year for validators and 9% for delegators. There is a one-day unlocking period for any staked one. Misbehaving validators will see a portion of their stake slashed, and this slashing penalty applies to delegated stake as well. Apart from staking, the OneCoin is used for governance and to pay for transaction fees. When it comes to governance, only validators can table Harmony Improvement Proposals, or HIPs, and both validators and delegators are able to vote. For a proposal to pass, more than two-thirds of all OneCoins being staked must vote in favour. With 42% of one's current supply of 10.8 billion being staked, this works out to 3 billion one. When it comes to transaction fees, all OneCoins used to pay for transaction fees on the Harmony blockchain are burned. However, one is not deflationary. This is because a fixed supply of 441 million OneCoins are minted every year, and OneCoin transaction fee burns are designed so they only burn the OneCoins that would otherwise be minted. This ensures that validators and delegators are incentivized to stake OneCoins when transaction traffic is low via OneCoin issuance, and when transaction traffic is high via transaction fees. Now, you can learn more about how Harmony works by watching my earlier video about the project, and that is up there in the top right. It's only been a few months since I last covered Harmony, but a lot has happened since then. In July, 
Harmony founder Stephen C. and experimental psychologist Hakuan Lau published a research paper which proposes using staking rewards and DeFi lending yields to create a decentralized universal basic income. The paper centers around Terra's Anchor Protocol, which offers a stable interest rate of roughly 20% on Terra's UST stablecoin by using a combination of cross-chain staking and DeFi lending behind the scenes. Stephen and Hakuan believe that by combining this architecture with an inflation-resistant algorithmic stablecoin, it should theoretically be possible to provide something akin to a universal basic income in a decentralized manner. A link to the research paper is in the description if you're interested. In August, Harmony announced that Chainlink price feeds had integrated with the Harmony testnet. A mainnet integration has yet to occur at the time of shooting, but a tweet by Harmony from October suggests this should be happening any moment. In September, Harmony announced that it had partnered with the AnySwap cross-chain DEX to bring wrapped Bitcoin to Harmony. Shortly afterwards, Harmony and AnySwap announced the opening of a bridge directly between Harmony and Polygon, Ethereum's leading Layer 2 scaling solution. The Harmony Foundation also announced that it would be allocating $300 million worth of OneCoins towards ecosystem development, with hourly rates for recipients starting at $75. This was likely a response to the Phantom Foundation's own massive ecosystem fund of 370 million FTM coins, which was announced in late August. And funnily enough, Algorand seems to have followed Harmony's lead by announcing its own $300 million ecosystem fund the very next day. In October, Harmony hosted its One World Conference in Lisbon, Portugal, which attracted hundreds of developers and investors. The Curve Finance Stablecoin DEX also deployed on Harmony, attracting hundreds of millions of dollars in total value locked. Aave is also expected to deploy on Harmony, given that the community approved the deployment in October, though no timeline has been provided for this to my knowledge. The Harmony Foundation has prepared over $5 million worth of OneCoins as liquidity incentives for lenders and borrowers, so be on the lookout for that one if you're a DeFi degen. In November, the Harmony community took to the streets of NYC to see the crypto project advertised on Times Square's iconic digital billboards. So, with all these announcements, it should come as no surprise that the OneCoin hit all-time high after all-time high. However, you can clearly see its price has seen a nasty dip in recent weeks. This is for a few reasons. First and foremost, the rest of the crypto market wasn't looking all that hot either. Bitcoin took a beating, and when that happens, altcoins almost always follow suit. Second, the Harmony Foundation's massive ecosystem fund is likely causing a significant amount of sell pressure. Recall that the $300 million is coming from sales of the OneCoin. The breakdown of the allocations in this ecosystem fund on the Open Harmony website suggests that roughly $80 million worth of one was sold in the first few weeks following its announcement. The third reason why the OneCoin has been struggling is similar to the second, and that's the recent cliff in the OneCoin's vesting schedule. As you can see, this vesting cliff began earlier this month. It's possible, if not likely, that some of these vested OneCoins were sold, further adding to the sell pressure, suppressing the OneCoin's price. It's also possible that the previous vesting cliff in May contributed to one's poor price action in the spring and summer, but the general collapse of the crypto market probably played a bigger role. The good news is that there is only one more vesting cliff left in November next year, and the remaining $200 million or so of one in the Harmony Foundation's ecosystem fund will likewise be spent over a much longer term. This means that the OneCoin should have an easier time reaching new all-time highs, and my long-term technical analysis suggests it could hit 50 cents later this year or early next year. You can learn all about the importance of timeframes in technical analysis by watching the third installment of my technical analysis tutorials, and that's up there in the top right. Anyways, whether the OneCoin can rally higher than 50 cents ultimately depends on its roadmap. You could say that Harmony has three roadmaps, an official community roadmap, an ecosystem roadmap, and a community roadmap. Harmony's community roadmap includes a laundry list of milestones with estimated completion dates. These can be grouped into the following categories. Bridges, features, and protocol improvements. 
In terms of bridges, Harmony's own trustless Bitcoin bridge should be live by the end of the month. Harmony's trustless bridge to the Ethereum blockchain should likewise be live by the end of the month. Harmony's own trustless Polygon bridge should be live by the end of the year. And Harmony's trustless bridge to the Cosmos blockchain should be live early next year. In terms of features, most of these involve the One Wallet, which is not to be confused with the Harmony One browser extension wallet. The One Wallet is currently in beta as a web wallet and will serve as the centerpiece to Harmony's ecosystem. The One Wallet will eventually become a mobile app and it will have the following features. Stable annual interest thanks to Harmony's integration with Terra's Anchor protocol. Access to all of Harmony's DeFi protocols. NFT support, of course. Self-custody without writing down a seed phrase with the help of other applications like the Google Authenticator. Decentralized wallet recovery with a sort of simplified multi-sig setup among trusted friends and family. Bank transfer support. And even payments. Now, Harmony devs are hoping to have the One Wallet ready with all these features by the end of the year. In terms of protocol improvements, Harmony is aiming to have cross-shard transaction capabilities by December. Harmony also plans on activating its secure reshards mechanism, which randomly assigns validators to different shards by February next year. More about that later. And last but not least, Harmony wants to achieve one second transaction finality by March next year. As far as I understand, this will effectively double Harmony's transaction speed. In addition to these milestones, the Harmony devs note at the end of the community roadmap that their focus for the next few months is threefold. Onboard 1 million users, hire 10,000 developers, and create 100 decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs. Now, this third focus ties into Harmony's ecosystem roadmap. Harmony's ecosystem roadmap is essentially explained in the aforementioned $300 million ecosystem fund breakdown on the Open Harmony website. It details the seven areas where all this money will be spent. These are DAOs, bounties, partners, ports, launches, investments, and events. Harmony has some pretty big ambitions when it comes to DAOs and has set aside $50 million in OneCoins to get them off the ground. This is the largest allocation in the $300 million ecosystem fund. With all this financial firepower, Harmony intends to fund no less than 100 DAOs for everything from research, community building, marketing, market making, and even creative writing content about Harmony. Each DAO will have nine governors who will earn anywhere between $75 and $350 per hour, which is insane. The caveat is that these nine governors must keep detailed records and provide metrics to the Harmony Foundation about how they're achieving the measurable goals that make up their three mandates. Bounties are pretty self-explanatory, and the Harmony Foundation has set aside $30 million in OneCoins to fund 1,000 bounties. So, let's hope those white hat hackers don't find 1,000 bugs, eh? Jokes aside, bounty hunters can expect to earn between $110 and $185 per hour with a total bounty reward ranging from $10 to $200,000. The partner's milestone is likewise self-explanatory, and the Harmony Foundation is willing to part ways with another $30 million in OneCoins to secure 10 partnerships. The focus of these partnerships is cross-chain interoperability, and if I understand correctly, it looks like the Harmony Foundation is willing to pay $10 million to outright acquire cross-chain projects. Ports, on the other hand, pertain to play-to-earn blockchain games, NFTs, and other community-driven crypto projects with a minimum of 10,000 active users. 100 of these kinds of crypto projects are eligible to get a cut of a $20 million pie, with the size of each slice ranging from $50 to $250,000 for just a few weeks of work with Harmony. Launches concern crypto projects that have yet to get off the ground, and the Harmony Foundation has $20 million for anyone who wants to make their idea a reality on Harmony. There are 500 spots available. Next, we have investments, and it sounds like the Harmony Foundation is going to invest $20 million into 50 cryptocurrencies. Now, I suspect that this investment will be limited 
to HRC20 tokens on the Harmony blockchain. Finally, we have events, including hackathons, workshops, conferences, and keynote presentations, 110 of them to be exact. Total cost, 10 million with allocations of up to $1 million. But wait, there's more. Harmony's community roadmap can be found on the Harmony One forum, and it consists primarily of Harmony Improvement Proposals, or HIPs, being tabled for a vote by Harmony validators. There are a few that stuck out to me, and I'll start by saying that only seven of the 20 or so HIPs have been put up for a vote so far, as per the Harmony One snapshot governance portal where voting takes place. It's not clear whether the remaining HIPs will be put up for a vote in the future, so I apologize in advance if I mention one that never gets off the ground. The first outstanding HIP that caught my eye was HIP5, which proposes a decrease in the minimum stake for delegators from 1001 to 101. The second is HIP10, which proposes automatic redelegation. This gives delegators the choice to compound their one coin stake by automatically delegating any staking rewards they earn. The third is HIP11, which proposes the introduction of a new decentralization meter so you can see just how decentralized the Harmony blockchain really is based on validator activity and stakes. The fourth is HIP13, which proposes to make it possible for smaller validators to merge and share each other's stakes. The fifth is HIP17, which proposes making it possible for validators to blacklist wallet addresses involved in rug pulls. The initial poll for this proposal suggests the Harmony community is strongly in favor. Now, don't get me wrong, rug pulls are one of the worst things that can happen in crypto. But giving validators the power to blacklist addresses is arguably much worse in the long term. The last HIP that caught my eye is also concerning, and that's HIP 18, which proposes to allow external validators to process transactions. Quote, Leaders in each shard of the Harmony network are responsible for proposing the blocks, collect block signatures, finalize consensus, and distribute block rewards to each signing validator. It is the most critical role of the network. Right now, all leaders are limited to internal nodes of Harmony. This brings me to my concerns about Harmony, and the first is centralization. If the quote from HIP 18 didn't click, the Harmony blockchain is currently very centralized. Even though there are 272 validator nodes, the only validators processing transactions are those being run by Harmony. What's worse is that Harmony appears to only have one active shard. Now, I say this because Harmony's Blockchain Explorer shows there are no transactions in any of the blocks in Harmony's other three shards. This could just be because everyone is using the first shard, but the fact that the Harmony devs have yet to implement cross shard transactions or secure resharding suggests the other three are currently unusable. Now, to be fair, Harmony is aware of all of this and they haven't been hiding it. Harmony has been dead set on decentralization from day one, and the possibility of a Coinbase listing has probably given them some extra incentive to get it done. As I've mentioned many times before, Coinbase is careful not to list any cryptocurrencies that regulators might classify as securities, i.e. like stocks in a company, certain ERC-20 tokens notwithstanding. For the one coin to land on Coinbase, Harmony needs to be, quote, sufficiently decentralized, and this is the primary purpose of HIP 18. HIP 18 was actually presented alongside HIP 19, which increases the voting power of validators not run by Harmony from 51% to 100%. If both of these proposals are passed, Harmony should be decentralized enough for Coinbase to list the one coin. Even if that happens, though, Harmony risks being crushed by competition simply because it lacks the manpower to meet its milestones. This is evident in the number of contributors on GitHub and its developer updates. This isn't their fault, though. There is a chronic shortage of talent in the crypto space, and part of why Harmony is willing to pay top dollar for devs is because it's the only way it can attract them to its blockchain. Almost every other top smart contract cryptocurrency is dishing out dollars of its own too, and it's anyone's guess as to which chains this limited pool of devs will eventually decide to join. If Harmony can successfully attract the devs it needs to meet its milestones, the OneCoin could become a top contender for the king of smart contract cryptocurrencies. To be honest though, that is going to be an uphill battle, especially since some of its competitors 
have raised hundreds of millions post-ICO. You can learn about those using the link in the top right. And that's it for my Harmony update. If you liked it, let me know by hitting that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel too and ping that notification bell to make sure my next video makes its way to you. If you're looking for something to do, Coin Bureau Clips gives you a behind the scenes view. My Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram have enough content to make you glad, and my Telegram channel gives you daily updates about what's real in crypto and what's just a fad. If your crypto portfolio has you sad, subscribing to my newsletter is the easiest way to fix that. It's packed with all the tools, tips, and tricks you need to hedge and get the edge. Now, Christmas is just around the corner, and according to a recent poll of crypto holders, one quarter of you are looking to make some crypto related orders. May I direct you then? to the Coin Bureau merch store. It's got Christmas-themed crypto merch like this and much more. If you decide to buy, do it before the supply chain goes bye-bye. On that note, that's it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around, eh? I'll catch you later, crypto alligators.